G'day, here we are in Bandara and we are on our way to the Nindi Gully pub. So to get there, we're gonna go through a number of little towns, Bingra, Mori, and Mangandai, and then we'll end up at Ningindali pub tonight. We are in a beautiful little town called Bingra. I've spent quite a bit of ta time in Bingra over the last couple of years as I worked on a social work in schools program through the University of New England. Social work in schools program aims at helping disadvantaged children and communities by supporting their mental health and wellbeing so that kids get the best education that they possibly can. The council here are really supportive of our social work in schools program uh, they paid for our students' accommodation while they came out and did their 15-week placement. Um, the council have been really active in beautifying and, and keeping up the appearance of Bingra. There are some beautiful amenities blocks just over in the local park here, a great playground area, a fitness centre that anyone can use, and even along the river here, they've been uh, putting up new shelters and walkways down to the river for easy access. Unfortunately, some of that's been damaged in the recent floods, but Binger has a fantastic council, really active, and they're really supportive in supporting our social work and schools program. Bingra, come and check it out, a beautiful little town. The name Bingra comes from the Gamilaray word for creek or shallow crossing. The discovery of gold in 1852 brought prospectors to the area and in the 1880s, copper and diamonds were also discovered. It is still a popular area for fossickers today. The population is 1,428 and it is 296 metres above sea level. Best time to visit is any time of the year with plenty to do including fossicking, fishing, boating, camping, historical exploring and local events. So we went to the little uh, bakery and I got a Ned Kelly pie. So a Ned Kelly pie has mince, cheese, a boiled egg, more cheese and mince on top. So that's what's inside our Ned Kelly pie. So Ned Kelly in Australia is a famous bushranger. So in other parts of the world, people like that were called outlaws. Here in Australia, we call them bushrangers. So here's to Ned Kelly and the Ned Kelly pie. through Moree and we're on the Carnarvon Highway heading towards Mungandai. Mungandai is a town of 600 people, around about, 
It straddles the Barwon River and the Barwon River is also the state line between New South Wales and Queensland and that's where we're crossing into Queensland. Mungandai is originally home to the Camilleroy people and the major Thomas Mitchell English explorer came through here in the 1830s, soon followed by other settlers, cattlemen, drovers and all those people coming through and the first hotel was built in 1863. All right, so here we are. We made it to Mungandai. It's about 33 degrees, which is not too bad, really. Uh, you might be able to see in the background here, we're just at the history park. There's a whole heap of old history things here. Um, it's about 2 p.m., so we'll probably have something to eat here as well. Um, but yeah, great little place. We've just driven in, saw some beautiful sunflowers and took some photos of those. It's really a long way between towns, so we get tired just because it's a bit warm too like we're, we're from the cold mountains so we're not used to the 30 degrees we haven't seen that for a while no. so yeah we're just feeling a bit tired time to have a break i think we have another hour before we get Nund to nundagili so we've got time to walk around mungandai after we've had some lunch okay so we were going to have a look in mungandai but Mungandai's Mate Street was literally 100 yards long and everything was closed because it's Saturday afternoon. And we are officially in Queensland. We've just crossed the river and we realise we've done something really stupid. <laughs> we were supposed to stop in Moree to get some fuel. Now our car, it's a, it's a V6, it's a high powered engine. It requires at least 95 fuel or higher, unleaded. And we're in Mungandai, we've got 112 kilometres to, which is just over 60 miles to St George. And that's the nearest place to get 95 unleaded. We thought we would get some here in Mungandai, there's none here. So we're gonna book it through to um, St George, which is past Nundagilly pub, and then come back to Nundagilly pub. Change plans, these things happen, um, but we'll, we'll get there, we hope. Fingers crossed, let's do it. So Scott, do you reckon we're gonna make it to St George? <laughs> so we'll, we'll make it to St George. We've turned the air con off because we know the car uses more fuel with the air con on. It's 34 degrees. 34 degrees, we've got the fan blasting and it feels like 54 degrees inside here. <laughs> it's hot, <laughs> but we'll make it to St George. So we've got a bet going on here. Scott reckons we can get into St George without the uh, fuel light coming on. I'm not so sure. The car reckons we've got a little bit above 20 k's of cruising range, more than what we need to go so far. We're trusting this car to tell us what it needs. So what do you think? Do you think we'll make it to St George before the fuel light gets on? Or do you think that the fuel light will get on and we'll be limping into town. There's a bet on. Scott's gonna eat a huge hamburger if he's wrong when we get to Nunda Gilly Pub. Well, we just saw the last kilometre marker and it said 5 k's to St George. There is no fuel light on and so I won't be eating one of those massive big burgers, <laughs> uh, which is good. So at least we've made it to St George and not run out of fuel. Good, can't wait to get in the car and put the air con on. <laughs>
Well, there you go. We actually made it. Scott won. We still had a few Ks left on the car's cruiser range, apparently. And we're just, we can relax now. The aircon is back on. The music's back on. We're smiling again. And we're off to the Nindagully pub. And Scott's not having a massive burger. He reckons he's having a good steak. Nindigali Pub is the oldest pub in Queensland. It opened in 1864 and is 500 kilometres west of Queensland state capital Brisbane and 830 kilometres north of New South Wales state capital Sydney. It was originally a coach stop where weary travellers could rest during their travels in those colonial days. The pub is still a thriving establishment serving a variety of beers, wines and spirits to people who come from near and far to experience the character of this classic outback pub. The pub includes a museum in the dining hall with both historical artefacts and classic memorabilia. The word Nindi Gully is a combination of the local Bagambal word Nindi which means little, and the English word gully, little gully. Guests can stay in these historic rooms, serviced by shared amenities, or camp for free opposite the pub along the banks of the Mooney River Billabong. An extensive menu ranging from unique enormous burgers to the traditional classic palmy, and everything in between is on offer. It's a great experience with friendly staff, locals and fellow travellers ready to have a yarn at the bar. All right, so out of the Ningangully pub, uh, I've had a couple of drinks down with the bar. Fantastic place, the atmosphere is just pumping. And so for meals tonight, I've got a classic chicken parmajama, which is chicken with like a tomato sauce and then cheese melted on, little side salad and chips. Heather got a Stockman's chicken parmajama, which has the same stuff, but an egg, hollandaise sauce and bacon as well. I'd like to see if Heather finishes that. Well, I think I got just over a quarter of the way through it, maybe a third of the way through it, but it was absolutely delicious. What are you doing, Scott? I'm picking the thorns out of me thongs. <laughs> the pluggers. Big long thorns. But beautiful little spot to sit. Fish swimming around by the look of it. Nice.
Well, there you go, everyone. That was a great day traveling up to the Ningni Gully pub. We had a good feed, met some great people, had a good time, and uh, we're exhausted, so we're gonna go to bed. But tomorrow, we hit the road again, and tomorrow, we go to Durumandi and Kalamala. We'll see you then.